every human having basic knowledge of respect, of decency, and of joy. Every human being able to figure out what's best for me, what can I contribute to make the world a better place, and everyone has a place in that. I've never been to school, I've never had a normal life, so everybody being like, whoa, you do this is kind of weird for me, it's just what I've always done. And We all create our own realities, like what we consider normal is what we do, you know, that's his normal, you know, because normal is very subjective. I think the word freedom is misused because it's not, it's not that we don't want children to be free, we absolutely do, but they have to be able to integrate themselves into any society that they're in. That's why I think it's important to define uh, world schooling, unschooling, homeschooling by the partnership between the parent and the child. World schooling can impact the world in showing it as an example of how we all become global citizens and that we're not attached to country or, or place, but in actuality, we are the world. We can live anywhere, we can live everywhere and impact everyone all over the world. You're not stuck to country or language or custom. You can go anywhere. You can learn from anyone. For 10 plus years, we've talked about doing a trip like this. I originally decided to become a journalist and I thought I could do it pretty quickly, but it ended up taking seven years. So that pushed it back a bit. Then we had two kids and the time just wasn't right and we decided unless we actually take concrete steps it probably won't happen so we set a date we sold our house we uh, told our bosses and um, bought the first plane ticket Isolation when you're traveling can be a showstopper. It can be that one thing that prevents you from continuing. So we solved that problem by creating this amazing space where people from around the world can come together, share information, share inspiration, talk about the things that matter to them, create normalcy for their children that are hanging out with other world schooling children and coming together and truly creating community. Dear self, the old maps do not apply in these times of transition. That a more beautiful world is possible and that life's first priority is not security, but rather to give of your gifts, to play, to love, and be loved, to learn, to explore. When those people, your tribe, are in crisis, you can hold them in the knowing of what you know and they can do the same for you. No one can do this alone. <laughs>